What's up everyone? Aiden here from Reach Out Reptiles. Do you guys know why hides are important for your reptiles? Giving an animal a hide makes them more confident and just comfortable in their enclosure. They provide a nice, safe, enclosed area for your animal. It's almost like giving them a bed. It just makes them happier. They'll have a better food response, a better disposition all together, and will just tolerate handling so much better. Now there's a whole bunch of different hides to choose from, but the best hides are heavy, block out light, and give the animal enough room to fit comfortably in. It's important to remember that different hides work better for different keepers depending on their enclosure and their situation. For large scale keepers, like us here at Reach Out Reptiles, they like to keep everything very simple so it stays very clean. They don't want any bacteria in the cage at all. So we use simple, easy to clean hides These are simple hides we use for the baby retics here at Reach Out Reptiles. These hides are made out of plastic. They could be a little bit heavier. They provide a spot for the animal to sit on top of the hide and an area underneath the hide that's nice and dark for them to just sit comfortably and curl up in. This hide works out well for the baby retics and it's super easy to clean, which is exactly what we want. For the older snakes, we tend to get buckets from Lowe's or Home Depot and we cut them into twos or you can even cut them into threes to make even more hides they're nice and cheap and easy to make these buckets work well and they're easy to clean too this is another type of hide that we use now this is a hide that we made ourselves most of the hides that large-scale collection keepers tend to use are sourced from other industries so we either make them ourselves or buy them at other places that aren't pet stores because the hides you usually find at a pet store that hobbyists use tend to be harder to clean and hold more bacteria. Now the second type of hides that we're gonna talk about are naturalistic hides. Now these hides are usually used in bioactive enclosures and they are natural materials that you can find outside. Now if you find something outside, make sure you treat it properly to make sure there's no bugs or bacteria that you don't want in your animal's enclosure on those materials. But yeah, you can basically find cork or branches or anything outside that you can use in your enclosure. Now, naturalistic hides are always natural materials but the downfall in these hides is that they could be a little bit more difficult to clean. Now, usually people who have bioactive enclosures want to have good bacteria in their cage. So they still want some type of bacteria. These naturalistic hides also provide more texture and enrichment for your animals too. Gives them a nice surface to crawl on and, you know, perch on and do snake things on. A good example of a naturalistic hide that you can use for your animals are coconut shells. Very simple, just cut a hole out of them and your snake can go in them and curl up. This provides a nice, dark, safe area for them, so they're comfortable. Now the third type of hides we're going to talk about are kind of in between the two other types that we talked about. So the most commonly used hides are the ones that hobbyist keepers usually use, which are easily available hides that you can find at Petco, PetSmart, any pet store. You can easily find them online and buy them online. These hides are usually made out of an unnatural material like plastic but they're designed to look natural, to fit in with a natural looking environment. Hobbyists are small scale keepers who don't have a lot of reptiles are the people who usually use these hides. These hides are great and it's not bad to use these hides, but they do tend to hold bacteria more. That's something that large scale collectors don't want at all. They don't want any bacteria. 
One hide that I noticed retics tend to like a lot are these hanging rockzilla caves. These caves are awesome hides. Crowley absolutely loves his. He's starting to get a little bit too big for it though, so I think Zilla kind of needs to make a bigger one. Another thing is that it's never a bad idea to give your animal multiple hides. You honestly should have multiple hides for them and hide on the cold side and the hot side at the very least. And it's not bad to provide as many hides as you possibly can. Another type of hide that you can provide is a humid hide and this helps animals out who are having trouble shedding. All you have to do is put moss inside of a hide and it can be as simple as getting a container and cutting a hole in it so your animal can go into it. Hides are super important for all reptiles and each keeper likes using different hides. So find a hide that works for you and stick with it. If you would like to see some more care videos, make sure you check out this video right here.